Hello all and welcome back to my channel. This is Mambo Sierra and I am here to do a weekly pick a card reading. So we're going to see what the week has for us and how we're going to do this is we're going to do it. I got three piles and each pile has three cards and each card is going to represent what we need to focus on, what the challenges will be and advice. All right. So let's go ahead. So pile one. This is Amethyst Cluster. Pile two is this Labradorite. And pile three is this Quartz. So take a you know a few minutes, take pause the video, take a deep breath, ask your angels, guides, deities, whoever you pray to, to uh, help guide you to the message that you need to hear. And with that being said, I'm gonna start off with pile one. All right, pile one, let's see what we have okay so they're telling me so I pulled blindly on this so we're just gonna kind of fan it out this way there and that way I feel better than I still haven't seen them so what we need to focus on pile one what oh wow so we need to focus on balancing I hate that glare just pick it up so we need to focus on balancing, balancing the mental, the physical, and the spiritual in order to achieve harmony within our life. So if you are a magical practitioner and you, you know, haven't been um, having a, a, a good balance between what you do at home and what you do with your spirits and stuff like that. And it's time to make a schedule so that you can get back on track and move forward with um, incorporating things into your daily workings. Overall, having that balance. All right. So what are, let's see what the challenges will be for the week. New beginnings. Wow, this is, this is a nice pile with the ones and the zero. So your challenge may be um, some new beginnings and it may stress you out, you know, and it may be harder to find the balance in life and um, change. Change is difficult. And with this new beginning, it's going to push you out of your comfort zone. You know, look how tight she's clutching that bag. She's ready to go, but she's still kind of holding on to something that's comforting to her. So I would say that your challenge may be getting out of your own way and getting out of a comfort zone this week. Okay, so let's see. Last one is the advice. The advice, don't trap fear. So this is saying don't let your fears keep you from a new beginning that's going to help you balance out your worlds. Okay, this guy's in prison in some in a place that he could probably escape. He's probably just sitting in his mind thinking thoughts over and over again when it's really not necessary. So he's putting himself in um a, a fear state for no reason. You know, f worried about this new beginning. How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? How? Nope, it's time to let it go. So this new beginning can come through. And that's where the balance comes in. You know, the balance of, of the mental, the physical, and the spiritual. When you have a, a well-rounded, balanced self, then you, these fears they won't plague you as much. I'm not going to say that they won't be there, but you won't give them the time of day and the attention that they're wanting you to have. So it'll stop you from your growth. Okay. Pile number one. I thank you. Have an awesome week. All right. Pile number two. We are going to go ahead and see what the week is going to hold for you, for your focus, for what you need to focus on what challenges may come about, and the advice for, for the week. Okay. So let's see. What you need to focus on is your solar plex chakra. Um, solar plex chakra, I think that's the one like at the navel. 
Yeah, you know, okay, hold on. Root. How do gotta think about where this thing is? <laughs> we'll work on the the yes, it is the navel, the solar plexus chakra. We'll work on that about balancing. It's about movement, um, creativity, things of that. Look how that's sunny and shiny and bright. So I think you should focus on the color yellow in working on that solar plexus chakra. Get some crystals that focus on that chakra. Um, I think tiger's eye. Uh, what is that? Golden quartz. Um, there's another one and I can't, was that a sunstone? I think sunstone too. Um, it's time to get that focus on your creativity and movement. All right. And let's see what your challenges may be for the week, for the, um, for the week. And I got emotional withdrawal. So your challenges may be that you might want to do things um, besides take care of yourself. And uh, that's going to make you um, withdraw maybe from yourself emotionally um, and not take care of the solar plexus like, um, like you should. Sorry, this all sounds so much better in my mind and it's just not coming out the way I want to say it. <laughs> so so um, you may want to do other things except take care of yourself, but it's time to set those boundaries and say, no, I need to sit back and I need to balance my chakras. I need to take some cleansing breaths, do some meditations, work, work on yourself. And you may be tempted not to work on yourself, but it's time for that. And for others, if you are kind of emotional, emotionless and you have always been withdrawn from people emotionally maybe it's time to tap into that and not be so emotional emotionally withdrawn from folks or yourself or from others and your advice for the week is heartache and loss you don't allow what could have would have should have been stop you from healing yourself you know While that heart looks like it's barely stitched, she is, you know, broken. I just get a really, a really deep sadness from this. Um, don't allow, don't allow your sadness to cloud your judgment, you know, and that may make some of you go into a depressive state and withdraw from doing activities that help to um, get you moving and out of that melancholy state. You know, so it's about getting your blood circulating and not staying in a sad, anxious state. Okay. Um, so that is what I have for you, Pio number two. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Appreciate all the, the beauty that you bring to my channel. Love you. Be blessed. All right. Pile number three for those of you who picked the clear quartz. Let's see what this week holds and what it will be out here bringing. All right. So we're going to see... Well, what you need to focus on, what your challenges are, and the advice. All right, so what do we need to focus on this week? Focus it on intuition. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Listen to yourself. Listen to your higher self. You know, go into a meditative state. Hear your heartbeat. Hear your soul's call. You know, the look how she's in front of the universe, and she don't have to see it. It's just a feeling. It's just a knowing. She knows that doors will open once she begins to listen to her intuition and listen to her well-being and her soul. So that's the focus. Let's see what the challenges are. Spiritual strength. Wow. So it's going to take a lot. 
you know, out of you to physically, to use your intuition. It takes a lot. It does. But you are spiritually strong and you have to use that muscle and flex that muscle in order for it to grow. So don't skip out on it. You know, begin to strengthen and build that intuition and build your foresight so that you can be a better person for the world and for yourself and for your family. That's going to be a challenge for you is to build your spiritual strength. All right, and the advice for the week, power, power. These are some dope cards. So power, your advice for the week is stepping into that power, letting that, letting your inner lion roar using your throat chakra and aligning all of the rest of them so that when you speak, those whatever so when you speak they will listen there you go like I told the last pile my tongue is tongue tied and I, my brain is moving faster than my mouth can go so I apologize but it's time to step into your power use your intuition build that spiritual strength so that you can step into your power and you be the person that you Imagine yourself to always be. Okay. Thank you, Pio number three. I really appreciate the like, shares, comments, and the subscribes. I hope that you have a blessed evening and a blessed year. Have a good one. Let's talk to you soon.